So, the other day, I came up into the RV and everything in the cloner was dead because one of the foggers stopped working. And that, that was really annoying. But it reminded me of the fragility involved with fog ponics in the first place. There's so many things that can go wrong, and when one does, it's catastrophic. Oh man, I forgot my notebook. I gotta go all the way back down to the house. All right, Brad, back. All right, got my book. I'm lost without my book. Okay, friends, well, it has been quite a week. I already told you about the cloner. Everything died overnight. Well, not everything, but I'll get to that here in a second. Um, and that really just made me almost want to give up on fog ponics altogether. But instead, I looked at the bright side. When one door closes, then a, uh, someone opens a window. There's some, kick the door down. Anyway, I'm gonna turn this into a hydro wall. It's gonna be super cool. I'm gonna pump water to the top and trickle it down hydroponically, um, just like a tower garden, but it's gonna be like a full wall. So yeah, I'm doing that this week. But what I've also been doing is trying to keep all the other plants that have survived live. So like four plants out of the cloner massacre have survived. And out of everything that I planted in this garden last week, like five things have made it. That's not true. One thing has made it, the shard. It's the only thing that's, that's survived. Everything else is, has wilted and died off. No matter how much humidity I gave it, no matter what I tried to do, so the roots aren't getting enough water. They aren't getting enough nutrients. I was pulling pucks and they were bone dry and the plants were dead. So it's like, of course. Um, but adding the other fogger to the bottom has made a big difference. That's delivered so much more fog to the top and the plants have actually seen growth now rather than just wilting and dying. So, so that's been good. One of the other things that I observed this week is that the plants that are in like the little pucks that aren't sealed quite as well, that a lot of the fog is sneaking through on the sides, they actually are growing significantly better. And my hypothesis on that would be that because there's fog moving past the plant itself in that area of the garden, then it's pulling fog up past the roots. So I loosened all the pucks on both of my gardens and let them go for it. But this would also explain the success in the fog pony tower garden. Because that one constantly has air moving over the roots and the way that that one's designed, it always leaks and it always has air moving so the roots are always nice and wet. So one thing I haven't really talked about with you guys with my fog ponic setups is they both have separate chambers for the roots to grow in. And this is because I could easily go out and build a DWC uh, fog ponic setup with just a five gallon bucket and one of those atomizers in there creating fog really easy to do but then you're you're not really creating a genuine aeroponics setup you're creating a aeroponics on the top and hydroponics on the bottom because it's just going to be a dwc setup in the bottom whenever your roots reach the water so i want to try to do a genuine true aeroponics fog ponics setup and have an isolated chamber with no water on the bottom just fog that's pumping in and feeding these roots nutrients that's really my goal with all this and i know i could do the really easy DWC fog ponic setup. So I don't want to see that in the comments. What I'm trying to do is something obviously a lot harder, but I think it's going to be a lot more rewarding when I nail it down. Cloner is dead, but I'm going to be making a hydro wall. That's going to be awesome, but it's not going to be a fog ponic. It's just going to be a hydroponic wall. It's going to be really cool though. So get excited. <laughs> Moving everything over here. I also have the aquarium set up now here for the uh, humidity on top. Um, everything in this garden is now surviving. A few plants are thriving. I'm really trying to stay genuine to, to the aeroponics aspect of this and, and I know because of that I'm causing myself some more headache but I really want to see it come through in the end and I really am loving making these videos and I hope you guys are enjoying watching them so comment down below and I will see you next week.